This is Smiles TV. Smiles TV. You're tuned into the best community affairs broadcast in the land. I'm Stephanie Anthony Miles, and today we will be talking with Meredith Shivers, and she's going to talk with us about the high school equivalency program. You don't want to miss this broadcast. Remember, Jesus Christ was born of a virgin. He was crucified and buried, and he rose on the third day. Confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. Believe in your heart that God has raised them from the dead, and thou shalt be saved. Stay tuned for more smiles. Welcome to Southwestern Illinois College, more commonly called SWIC. There is a campus near you. SWIC campuses are in Belleville, East St. Louis at the East St. Louis Higher Education Center, the Sam Wolf Granite City Campus, and the Red Bud Campus. There are even available classes online. If you take a look at SWIC's Adult Education and Literacy Department along with SWIC's Workforce Equity Initiative Program, you're bound to find a fit for you. Certifications are available in highway construction, transportation distribution, and logistics, warehouse forklift safety, welding, unarmed security officer certifications are available, practical nursing assistant, and phlebotomy. Are you in need of high school equivalency classes? English as a second language classes? Sounds like a lot of money to you, right? Well, you might be surprised to find that many programs and courses are free and financial aid available for those who qualify. The financial aid office is available to assist you. One last thing, SWIC's Adult Education and Literacy Department along with SWIC's Workforce Equity Initiative Program works diligently to prepare you for employment. SWIC's Student Services Department was created for you and it is available to help you. Let SWIC help you to chart your path in the right direction. It's your time. Take a step. Move forward with SWIC. For additional information, call 618-235-2700. 618-235-2700. Welcome back to Smiles. I'm sitting here with Meredith Shivers. And Meredith is going to share with you what she does in the high school equivalency program. Meredith, thank you for taking time to talk with Smiles TV. Thank you for having me. Meredith, where are you from? I'm from the Missouri side, St. Louis, Missouri. Mm, okay, okay. And um, how long have you been working in Illinois? Um, six years now. Have Southwestern you? Illinois College. Okay, yes. and what made you decide to go into the education field? Um, just wanted to empower parents so that they are able to assist their children uh, and understand the importance of education so that they can move upward in life. When you say empower parents, how can you empower the parents? Um, sometimes parents educational level isn't equipped for them to assist their students with their homework so instead of encouraging them to do the homework they just may blow it off and be like well take it back to the teacher and let her help you as a parent you need to be able to work with your child explain to them in the area of their weaknesses ways to deal with that situation and that answer that problem instead of just giving up on it. Mm. So just working together with your child to come up with a solution instead of giving up. Okay, give me um, an idea of a day in the life of Meredith while you're at work. Mm. Lisa mm -hmm. probably said I can't, let me see. Mm -hmm. It may start off, I may have an agenda of things to do, but an instructor may need something, so that's a service um, to service a student. So let's say we have adult education classes. We have an ABE class with adult basic education and then an ASC, which is accelerated um, classes. They cover math, reading, language arts, and social studies. Um, we may have a student that's ready to test, so I may need to get a voucher because we do, the classes are free, but you do have to pay for the practice test. All right, let's go back. Okay. The classes are free? Yes, the classes are free. So what you would do if you were interested in class, you would contact us. We would schedule a date for you to come up and do what is a pre-assessment test in reading and math. 
And the purpose of that test is to get an idea of where you are so we can place you in the correct class. And then when in that class, you work on those four subjects to prepare for the test so that you can get your high school equivalency. Okay, and your student, your, the individual who is seeking that, um, give me a little background on the diversity. Um, th we individuals. service individuals from ages 16 to infinity. So it can be 80. There's no limit of when you can get your high school equivalency. So the only thing, if you're 16 or 17, it's just required that you have a separation letter from the high school in the district that you live in. But other than that, we're more than welcome to service you. And you are located at which campuses? Um, we have campuses at the Belleville campus, Granite City campus, the East St. Louis campus, and the Red Butt campus. Okay, okay. So have you told me just about everything that falls under your um, direction? Um, no, we also have bridge program and what the bridge consists of if you're interested in getting your CNA um, but you don't have a high school equivalency you can join us in the high school equivalency program pass two parts of the GED test and then we can enroll you in the CNA class. Hmm. Okay. You would be and, eligible to enroll in that class. And, and like then, you said those classes are located at, at the East St. Louis campus, Belleville, Granite City, and Red and, Red, and Red yes. Bud. Okay, uh, if, any, if anyone wants to make contact with you or an interested in becoming a part of the program, how can they do that? Um, they would call 618-222-5357. Okay. Is there anything else that we have not talked about? That We do have vocational programs, mm -hmm. and in the vocational programs we have CNC, which is Computer Numeric Coding. Um, we also have a forklift class. Um, where you are, you do get a chance to drive the forklift so that you do have that experience and you get a forklift certification. Um, we have a highway construction program. Wow, tell me about the highway construction program. That's located at the East St. Louis campus. Um, there are qualifications to get in the program, but once you're in the program, everything is provided to you as far as the equipment that you would need, um, even when you, and as far as job placement, once you finish the program as well. Oh, so you actually, once you train them, and they receive their certification, they're actually able to go right into a job, Correct. Ho hopefully, yes. or that, that's pretty no, much that, how it happens. Pretty much that's how it happens. That's good information. Yeah, our people need to know that. Well, I want to thank you for taking time to talk with me and um, check out this program, the Bridge Program, correct? Yes. Okay. And um, High School uh, Equivalency mm -hmm. Program. SWIC, Southwestern Illinois College, the high school equivalency program is available for you. Contact Meredith. Stay tuned for more smiles. Are you looking for an insured and bonded residential or commercial contractor? On Time Contracting, owned by Ali McDowell, is just a phone call away. On Time Contracting operates with the utmost integrity and quantities to complete your project right on time. Residential or commercial, exterior or interior, roofing, siding, flooring, you name it. If you want your project completed for the price quoted and at the time quoted, contact On Time Contracting. Good quality professional work guaranteed to be completed on time. Call 618-567-3591. No project is too large or too small. On Time Contracting. Call On Time Contracting today. Welcome back to Smiles TV. I'm sitting here now with Edward White, and he's going to talk a little bit about his um, background and tell you what he does at Southwestern Illinois College. Let's talk first, Edward, about your background and where you're from and things of that nature. Okay. I'm from East St. Louis. I went to Assumption High School. Uh, I've been a resident of East St. Louis all my life. Mm, okay, and, and off camera, you told me you came back and you helped with your parents? Uh, yeah, I had uh, two elderly parents that uh, became sick after a while. I lived in Atlanta for some time, mm -hmm. and I had to move back to help take care of them until they actually passed. So. Oh, okay, okay and I do understand. My mom um, actually had Alzheimer's, and I was her caregiver yep. for a while, and she passed in 2015, so yep. my condolences yep, for you. you. So at Southwestern Illinois College, what is your, your role? Uh, I'm actually the special um, projects coordinator here, which um, I actually coordinate the GED program. 
to assist those uh, no matter what age from 17 on up to infinity, as Miranda stated, uh, to obtain their GEDs. Okay, okay. And um, how long have you been with SWIC? I've been here for about six months. Oh, you're, you're fairly new. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. One thing I've noticed about all of the staff is, is the, the concern mm -hmm. and the, um, the care right. taken for our students. How do you find yourself doing that? Um, well, in East St. Louis, uh, it's all about the students. It's all about the people of East St. Louis. Uh, prior to doing this, I actually worked for a reentry program for those who were released from prison. So in my ideal situation, it's about the residents of East St. Louis and helping people in East St. Louis better themselves in any type of manner that they can. Okay, and we need to allow people to know that we are actually at the East St. Louis Higher Education Campus mm -hmm. um, run, run by Southwestern Illinois College. Correct. Um, what's a day in the life of Edward at work? Oh, it's, it's a fast-paced day. Uh, it basically involves um, making sure that all my students show up for class. We make follow-up phone calls. I deal with parents. I deal with families. I even may even have to watch a child every now and then. But uh, there are a multitude of things to do uh, with assisting uh, students with their lives. You know, adult students are very different than students in high school. How they so? May, they may need a lot of more of assistance due to the fact that they're living a full life with kids, bills, things that they have to accomplish while attending school and trying to obtain their GEDs. Okay. And so um, do you find that, um, do they seem to find it easy to make that transition in terms of um, bettering themselves or how do you help them to um, make it a little bit more comfortable for them? Well, we help them by providing services. Uh, someone may be homeless, someone may uh, be in a, uh, a bad relationship. There are a lot of agencies that we can use here in St. Clair County to refer them to to assist them with those situations. Hunger, a lot of other different things. I even provide sometimes snacks for the students when they come in just so they'll have a comfortable place to learn and read and things like that. What's the process of uh, individuals coming into the program? Well, the process um, involves a lot of recruiting. Uh, we take walk-ins, we take phone calls, we go out into the community to recruit as well. And when we get those students in, we test them, a TAVE test, in which case we have a locator test to locate where they're at so we can assign them to the proper class. Uh, once we get that testing done, we register them, sign them up, uh, get them started with a uh, career pathways class, and we move forward from there. Okay. And we and continue to test them during the process so that they can raise their scores to be able to obtain that GED. I see. And, and earlier you mentioned um, the forklift mm -hmm. um, certification. Right. How, tell me a little bit more about that. Uh, uh, the forklift program is a great program. It goes along with the welding program as well. And in each program, they do receive certifications uh, so that they can move into the workforce. Now, with my program, the way it intertwines is that once a person passes two portions of the GED, they can join the other classes that we have here on campus. I see. I see. Is there anything else that you would like for our um, viewing audience to know? Oh, absolutely. Uh, for anyone who, is, who plans or needs assistance, uh, please contact me at the East St. Louis campus. My number is 618-874-6277. Thank you so much, Edwin. I appreciate your taking the time and, and keep doing the great job that you're doing. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for tuning in to Smiles Television Talk Show. Um, tune in all over the place. You can find Smiles on um, just about every social media platform. Um, East St. Louis Charter, Cable Channel 984, St. Louis TV, just all over the place. It's Google Smiles TV. Remember, only what you do for Christ will last. And Jesus is the Lord. The Lord be magnified. When you visit Big Mamas in East St. Louis, Illinois, located at 5900 St. Clair Avenue, you will need a fork and a bib. Big Mamas is known for their barbecue, cakes, excellent service, and giving back to the community. Call in, eat in, drive through, carry out, order for your office. You can call Big Mamas at 618-398-8950 or visit 5900 St. Clair Avenue in East St. Louis, Illinois. IDEX Media does a lot. From IDEX Photography to IDEX Films. We help create forever memories and forever impressions. Imagination 
Image a world. IDEX Media. Awesome sauce. Yeah, baby. Whoa. Whoa.